AMEs might ask, why did the FAA recently add requirements for certification of non-valvular AFib or flutter? Up to one-third of AFib patients will have a stroke during their lifetime. So how does the FAA mitigate risk in a pilot with non-valvular AFib or flutter? FAA has new requirements to identify the pilot's stroke risk, including type 1 or type 2 sleep studies, a CHADS-2 VASC score, and a status report outlining the treatment history and plan. A cardiac evaluation to rule out valvular heart, coronary artery, or thyroid disease is still required. There is an optional non-valvular AFib status report in the AME guide. Please note that no matter the treatment and outcome due to stroke risk, AFib requires a lifetime follow-up. For more information, please consult the AME guide.